This video will introduce you to the test known as the Ankle Brachial Pressure Index, ABPI. What this test is, is it's a test, it's a metric used to measure the amount, the severity of the atherosclerosis inside your arteries. Now atherosclerosis is the one you've heard about, it's the one you don't want to get. It is that hardening, that thickening of those vessels, it's the occlusions, it's the clots, it's the heart disease. Uh, and the one thing you hear a lot of is peripheral arterial disease. And this is what leads to that ischemia. Uh, th this is what leads to the problems. This is what you hear a lot about. So this test is how you measure that. And, and, and more importantly, it's not only how you measure it, but it's how you see how far down the scale you are. Um, a lot of people have this, especially in America. And so this is important to see where you stack up amongst other people and see how big the risks really are. Now up here is a number line. You can see it goes from 0 0.5 1.4 and what those numbers are is that's your index when you take your ankle blood pressure and then you put it in a ratio or you divide it by your brachial blood pressure. So I'll write those up here just some ankle and brachial and you'll probably know that an ankle blood pressure is one that's going to be taken from down in your uh, distal lower limb and your brachial is going to be the one you're used to that's your brachial your arm blood pressure and you take what those blood pressures you can take them either at rest which is typically how it's done some people ask you to do some exercise, such as walking on a treadmill or walking in place, that sort of thing, for about five minutes. Either way is an accepted uh, method in the United States. However, what you do is, so you take your blood pressure and go systolic blood pressures, or the one that's on top of the, of the fraction, and you put them in a ratio or you divide them. Now, as you go down here, if you get to the 0 0.5, it's very severe. You're at <laughs> end-stage peripheral arterial disease. It's not good. You need to uh, definitely go into a, a practitioner and they'll put you on some things, some anticoagulants, some things that will prevent the occlusions that are associated with atherosclerosis. What we're really trying to get is that 1.0 to 1.4 range. And those are the normal ranges, that's the healthy range, and that's where you're not at risk for things like a heart attack, uh, a myocardial infarction, as they say, uh, those kind of coronary events.